Hello everyone, welcome to another Foxdeck tutorial. This time we talk about a Safari and the split screen problem or how you can operate it, how you can fix it, what you can do with the split screen Safari on iPad. First of all, I have to say that some very old iPads will probably not support the split screen multitasking, but most of the latest iPads do support it, so you should probably not have any problem. Anyways, if you open up Safari like this, you can see that you can just browse through it normally. You have the the websites, all the stuff, your tabs at the top, no problem there. However, if you want to use a split screen multitasking, you have multiple options. The first one is by tapping on the three dots at the top, tap on split view and tap on Safari once again. Now we have the split screen Safari website. That means that you can have one website here on the right, one website here on the left. You can even change the position like this so you can switch it up the same way in case you find it more useful that way. So that would be like the first option. And in case you looked up the way how to fix it, you probably mean that how you can get out of it. Because if you leave like this and open up Safari again, you are in the same split view. By the way, guys, if you want to know everything about your iPhone apps, you have to click the link down below in the description. It's a 100% free education platform where I publish like video editing courses. There is going to be the all apps explained course, which is coming up. It's going to explain every single app on your iPhone. It's going to be really cool. So go ahead and check out that link. It's free to access. So yeah, go ahead and do that right now. Now, if you want to exit the split view, you have to decide which tab or which window you want to keep and which one you want to close. Because if you, for example, want to keep the Google and close the Yahoo, just tap the divider in the middle like this, and you can just close it completely and keep the Google turn on. However, you don't necessarily have to do it that way. You can also just swipe the other way around or keep the other page open. Also, you can resize it and make, let's say, and let's say you make Google the large thing or you make uh, the Yahoo the larger stuff. So you have multiple options. But if you don't want to use the gestures, what you can also do is to tap on the three dots at the top, which is like the handle. Each window is equipped with the handle. So you can, for example, tap on this one and just close it like this. And you end up with the Safari, the other one, just taking up the entire screen. So that's really good as well. Besides that, you don't only have the option to use it this way, but let's say just bring out Safari and you also have the floating window on top of it. So you, for example, have the regular Safari and you also have the window flying around, which you can quickly put to the side like this. You know, it is there because of the handle. You use your Google normally and you just swipe it back to see and check out that information. So it's really good for multitasking. And in case you want to fix that or you want to get rid of that, you don't really do much. You just don't even have to use it. You just slide it away. Or if you just get to the multitasking panel like this and swipe all the way in here, you can see that they are like the horizontal windows and vertical one. So you can see the vertical ones can be swiped up as well. And right now you cannot really swipe back anything because we just got rid of the floating window. So that's an option as well. Also, one thing I didn't touch up on is in case you have the split screen Safari going on like this, you have multiple things going on on the left and right side. If you go to the multitasking panel, you can swipe up individually on the windows here. So that's an option as well. Like you can do it at that. It's really simple to do. So yeah, you can also just get rid of the one window here in the multitasking panel if you want to. Now, I hope I have covered every single thing which applies to split screen multitasking on an iPad. I really do hope that you found it useful. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up on it. Subscribe down below so you know everything about your iPad, iPhone, and all of your devices. And we can see each other later. Peace out.